Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about lists. In HTML, a list is just a collection of elements that are either ordered or unordered. So how do we make a list? Well, first we need an HTML file, so here it is. Okay, now that I have a file, what should we do? Well, in HTML, there are three types of lists. The first one is unordered list, the second is ordered, and the third and final one is the dictionary list. An unordered list is a collection of elements that are just marked using dots or stars. They're not numbered. Now, how do you create this in HTML? To make an unordered list, we use the UL tags. So let's add a pair of UL tags. And inside these tags, we have to use the LI tags or list item tags. I'll just put the letter A. Okay. Now that I have these set of tags, let's see the output. Oops, just a minute. Boom. There you go. So because our list only contains one li tag, you can you can only see one dot followed by the word letter a. But let's just add another. Okay, now that we have a proper list, let's see. This list, because it's unordered, only uses dots. In HTML, you can actually change the dots using CSS, but let's leave it like this for now. Now that this is, now that we made an unordered list, let's create an ordered list. To make an ordered list, we use the OL tags. So here they are. And to make the list elements, we use the LI tag. So li. It's a, it's b, and let's see. Oops. that okay now I'll fix that there we go we have our ordered list in HTML ordered lists are defined by using numbers but these also can be changed using CSS now there's the third type of list called dictionary lists now, dictionary lists are actually just like definition and answer lists. So to create a dictionary list, we use the, you guessed it, DL tags. Inside these tags, instead of LI, we have DT and DD. DT uh, stands for the dictionary term, the word we're going to define. And DD stands for the definition you're going to give for the word before it. Now note, 
uh, although this is not actually required it is necessary to put a tab space one tab is enough let's see the results there you go our word is right here and our definition is right here note that the uh, definition is indented a little bit even if I didn't put that tab space even reloading this page several times this definition will always be a little bit indented so whether you have this tab space or not it doesn't matter but it would be a little better if you put it like this think playing it here and a dictionary list can contain more than one item but with dictionary lists it is important that you properly close the brackets because you have two tags two set of tags working for the same thing which is why once I specify a card I need to specify its definition using the DD tags and then once that's done I have to use a new set of DT tags to specify a new word A definition and let's reload this page there we go so now we have a second definition so this looks more like a dictionary let's say you want to put an unordered list bullet for each word you can do that but this time in the dt tags you have to put an unordered list with only one element however it will add an extra indent so usually we don't really need to do that let's show that this back So that is how you create basic lists and dictionaries in HTML. Now additionally, there are some settings that you can use to change these numbers. But those are primarily used in CSS. So we don't need to discuss that for now. And dictionaries, well, it, it has the same basic formattings that regular HTML has. For example, if I wanted to bold the words car and truck in this case, I can use the, uh, the bold tags inside the DT tags. It still works. There is no rule. There's no rule for adding tags inside tags. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.